what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more legacies this is season four episode 10 um so it's very difficult to see the dvd in the background just because it's really dark i don't know um and i believe season three is coming out on dvd very soon so maybe i'll put that one up there i don't know anyways um we've been on a bit of an extended break um I wonder how things are going to go in this episode, to be honest. Um, I almost wonder if they did like a lot of shuffling around because Kaylee left. Um, yeah. It's kind of crazy. Like, think of it this way, okay? It's been on so long a break, I've had bright pink in my hair and faded. Like, a we've gone through a hot, nearly just a bit. A whole season of Once Upon a Time. A whole 22 episodes. That's how long the break has been. It's crazy. Uh, anyways, let's go over the comments. Um, they 100% had me. I was so let down and I'm so happy to be wrong. I want Hope to go full Klaus. Me too. Um, until watching a reaction, I had no idea Kaylee left. That's the problem that I'm, I I keep having. You didn't know because everyone always comes back every five seconds, you know? I'm 80% sure I know who the burnt dude is, but after the Aurora thing, I will keep my speculation to myself and take a victory lap if I'm right. Well, when we find out who he is, you let me know who you thought it was. And then we're good. Also, can I just say the Aurora thing? What a fucking letdown. Like, she was in like one episode and then just like ran off. What was the point? And I think I know what the point is. Um, I'm noticing a trend here in this show. That like, they're just going for anything nostalgia. But they're not committing to them, you know? Now, now hear me out. We got Aurora. Um, you know, they tried to recreate Rick's death scene, you know, um, the no humanity thing. Um, oh, there's a few other things as well, but I have, I can't think of them right now because it's been, it's been a while since we watched some legacies. Um, but yeah, it seems like they're trying to bring back any kind of nostalgia stuff and, um, yeah, it's not, it's not going well, right? Um, Aurora wanting to repeatedly drown Hope is because of Elijah doing the same thing to her brother. Eh. Uh, as much as I love MG kicking out Ethan, does MG, a student, have the authority to expel another student? Probably not. God, I just... I forgot about Ethan. <laughs> Why? I'm assuming the writers will think of a Claire Holt situation for Kaylee, where she can come back for a few episodes each season. Oh, I don't know about that. From like what I've heard about the behind the scenes. Now, I could be completely wrong, and this is just speculation from what I've heard. Apparently, like, um, Matt Davis, I think. Alaric. Um, apparently he said some, like, racist things. Um... Uh, about Kaylee's background or something. And so she's like, bye bye. Because I'm just saying, like, I know how that sounds, but also, like, you might be like, nah, there's no way. But you got to remember that these are, like, the same creators and writers that were repeatedly, um... rude to uh, Bonnie's character um, so take that how you will anyways let's keep reading anyways uh, especially considering it's weird that they're dropping the whole merge just like that after all the build-up and it being the excuse for Caroline for not being around yeah and like considering the fact that I don't know I feel like we've been talking about the fact of one of them becoming a vampire since the whole merge situation came into, into being. I feel like I recall talking about it with Liv and Luke when they were talking about how they had to merge. I don't know, maybe, 
maybe I didn't think of the option then, but like I feel like we were talking about it all the way back then. Um, and they never like considered that as an option, but whatevs. Um, if they're actually going to not drop it, maybe they'll come up with an explanation that they'll still have to do the merge as long as their souls are intact or one, and one of them isn't stuck in a different dimension. Only it's more likely Lizzie will win as now she's immortal and Josie is not. And maybe while we're at it, maybe they should also explain what's stopping them from refusing all refusing at all and add in some bad omens or natural disasters since they made a big deal about how merge is inevitable when so far vampirism prison worlds or straight up deaths aside nothing's been shown to prove they can't say no I agree that they should have consequences um <laughs> I went into the episode excited and nervous about what would happen with Aurora. I was terrified that they just brought her back to finally kill her off. I know it was announced that Rebecca Breed signed up for a recurring role, but you only need to be on like two to count as recurring. Oh, really? And if we count her voiceover episodes, she's been in four. So while I was disappointed in what happened with Aurora character, I was happy that she got away. And once, kind of, once again, the door is left open for her to come back in the future. Yeah, but I mean, she just kind of got wrecked pretty easily. She's not really a threat. As for Kaylee and Josie, uh, it never occurred to me that she was leaving the show while watching the episode. Mostly because her goodbye scenes was just with Finch. Yeah, you would have thought that she would have got one with Hope, MG, Raphael. Lizzie and her dad, yeah, literally anybody else aside from Finch who she basically just met, yeah, um, it didn't feel like a goodbye because she wasn't saying goodbye to people we actually care about, yeah, when I first saw the article headlines without reading it I was like, oh, Jenny leaving the show to learn how to be a heretic, like I would have never thought that Kaylee was living. I'm really excited about Heretic Lizzie, but I'm also like, what's the point? Because we don't see the vampires on this show being vampires. Yep. <laughs> I feel like you're just stating everything that's absolutely entirely correct, and I'm loving it. Uh, we never see them drinking blood. We also never see them the point of making them I also don't see the point of making their vampire face just to throw a punch I don't remember them having to do that in other shows yep <laughs> I don't know what else to say I, I just agree I never knew Kaylee was leaving and I am always re reading sites like uh, reading sites like TV Lion and it wasn't until after this episode had aired that it was reported they had kept it heavily under wraps as for this episode, probably most solid, you know, now that they, you know, uh, something I did mention, I did realise, um, I feel like, you know how, like, I don't know, like two episodes ago or something, you got, like, Dark Josie for, like, a minute? I feel like they probably did that to give her, like, one last hurrah as this character before she left. And, like, thinking back on it, that just makes sense now. <laughs> um, as for the episode... Uh, probably the most solid episode since season since episode four, aka the season three finale. Uh, at the end of one of the season episodes, Lizzie told Alaric that they have to consider someone becoming a vampire or a werewolf. I can't remember to break the Gemini curse. Uh, they can't become a werewolf. That's a DNA biology thing. But hey, the show can probably just bend the rules, why not? Uh, so I wonder if Lizzie's becoming a heretic breaks the Gemini curse. If that's the case, then it's what I've been talking about from the beginning and there should be consequences for that though. I'm super sad that Kaylee is leaving the show, but I'm confused on how Josie's leaving like this going is going to help Hope. The therapy box showed her that she needs to leave to save Hope, but like, what does that mean? I don't know. Honestly, they should have just 
in all honesty, they should have just killed Josie. Just killed her. It would have been far more interesting as a character move. And you know what? The show will bring her back anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Like, it, you, if she ever wants to come back, you can just bring her back to life. Um, so she's never going to come back, and that's somehow going to turn Hope's humanity back on? Like, what is she going to be doing while she's gone that will somehow help, help Hope in a way? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I feel like you have to be there to help, for her, to help her. What is she leaving going to do? I don't know. I, they just, when writing off characters, they just have to just have them leave for some obscure reason that makes no sense. Remember when Jeremy left and was like, I'm leaving because Bonnie's gone. Call me if she ever comes back. And then they didn't call him when she came back. Like, come on. Like, they they need to come up with better ways to write characters off. I feel like that makes no sense story-wise, but I hope for Kaylee that whatever she does next is good for her and that she's successful in whatever it is. I just hope there's no bad blood behind the scenes and she comes back as a guest star for some episodes. Edit. Never mind. Lol. I think I know what they're doing and how her leaving is going to help Hope. But I won't say because I do not want to speculate on it for your sake. Well, you know, when when we get there, you can talk about it. You've got me curious though. I hope Josie is going to New Orleans to rally the Michelsons. But she's probably just going to some nebulous place maybe where Caroline's been chilling. Probably, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna miss Kaylee. Aurora felt wasted. I agree. Uh, also, why does she solely want revenge for what happened to her? I thought maybe she'd want revenge for Tristan dying. Yeah. After Hollow off Elijah in season 4, but nope. I wanted more Aurora as Hope shenanigans. I think the problem with that is the fact that, like, we haven't really seen Hope as, like, uh, as class. And then the fact that someone just slides into her personality, like, her body, and then it's, like, briefly, and then sh she disappeared. I don't know. It was too many things at once. They, they, had, they, they had too many ideas, and they put them together at the wrong time, like... You've got a whole season to stretch out these stories. Why are you throwing them all together in one episode? You know what I mean? Um, I hope they don't kill her. She is the second best villain they've ever had after Kai. Um, Catherine? Hello. Um, Klaus? Hello. <laughs> uh, oh, and random side note. I want Hope and baby Nick to interact. Let's hope. Let Hope interact with her cousin. Maybe. Maybe one day. Um, so, who do you hate more? Ethan, Matt, or the version of Esther from the original season 2 who became a vampire? Um, that's, a, that's a throwback. Uh, Ethan, because he's just fucking useless as fuck. Why? They, they just they keep trying to make him happen. It's not going to happen. Also, Finch is just boring. She makes me miss... Sophie Devereaux, uh, at least Sophie had the one flashback app where she made out with a girl. What? She did? I don't even remember that. Uh, I don't care, but somebody needs to drag Hope home to New Orleans to knock some sense into her. So Lizzie's a heretic now. Can we get Valerie back to mentor her? Yeah, I loved Valerie. She was great. Um... I think Valerie is still alive. I remember the lesbians dying. Oscar's dead. And the other heretic dude also feels like he died. She's the only one left, right? Or, or am I crazy? Um, yes, she's the only one left alive. She just kind of like went her separate ways. Anyway, it brings Valerie back. I miss her and her accent. Especially since she's been on like several CW shows, I think. She was on Supernatural... Okay, she was on one Supernatural show. 
Uh, CW show. Whatever. Um, also, Lizzie, how idiotic do you have to be to not have more than one steak? I mean, honestly, no one has a brain cell on this show except maybe Hope and Aurora. I mean, yeah, no, I, I believe that um, Ethan still has one. I think that's what they were, like, implying. He, he has his memory. He has his memory, I believe. Uh, God, also, I bet they'll retcon another red oak steak. Um, down the line when they need to up the st <laughs> stakes for Hope's fate. Uh, this has been nagging at me since season one, but isn't Hope supposed to be a Crescent Alpha? Since when Jackson died, Haley took over, and since Haley's dead, it should be Hope, right? She's the last Lebanair, and there's no other Kenners that we know of. And they were the two families that were Crescent Alphas. Uh, I believe so, but I, I mean, whatever even happened to their pack, who freaking knows at this point. Uh, like I said in voice before, this season reminds me too much of Star Trek Enterprise Season 4, in where they tried their best to make connections to previously established canon, and it wasn't enough to get renewed for a fifth season. I'm thinking the same will happen with Legacies. It just feels so similar. Um, we talked about this before, and I believe that you're wrong. I, they will renew it, and I'll tell you why. With the pandemic, I don't think that they really want to invest money in a new TV show, or very many t new TV shows at the moment. So they've, I believe that they're just going to keep renewing things until pandemic is fully gone and they're able to like streamline tv shows again um because you have to think about all the money that goes into like all the money and work that goes into creating a tv show you gotta hire you gotta have auditions you gotta hire people makeup uh everything okay like you gotta you gotta get everything ready for a tv show and then film a pilot and then maybe gets picked up. Like, there's a whole process in it. And then I just don't see the CW, especially right now, um, putting in all of that extra effort for a new show to take over instead of Legacies. So I think they're going to renew Reg Legacies regardless if it's doing well or not. Um, because it's a show that has a fan base and you've already sunk money into it, and I don't know. I don't. I don't think that CW really cares about um, like lucrative content, anyways. Um, as it's like a subsidiary, sub, uh, subsidiary of Warner Brothers, and I mean they have money cows everywhere at this point. So I don't know. But what do I know? I'm just me. I'm not the brightest anyways. Whatever. Maybe I'm not even making any sense. Um, I can't answer your question about Aurora since she's so uninteresting to me. I wiped all of that from my memory. Ha, true. Lizzie and Lamethan... <laughs> Lamethan... <laughs> Could have put the fire out instead of just watching the tree completely burn down. Who the fuck is this dude? Some random headmaster? We want Bonnie! Or maybe Caroline. Wait, wait, there was a new headmaster? What the fuck? I don't remember that! Okay. Josie's leaving, kind of rude, when Lizzie is off on a hunting trip and is going to be away for a while. Or, or isn't going to be home for a while. Um, what? Since fucking when do you need to pay the dude more than one coin to go to the good place? I don't know anything to drag out of that story. Uh, Stefan got drowned in a lake for it. It was Angel who was thrown into the ocean. Is Julie writing this? Uh, a speech is all it took. Alright. If you think it takes more than bring back a fucking tribe or it added later, okay, nice. She's still evil. Get fucked. The fuck? Was this po what was the point in having this boring ass character back then? Oh, I know, trying to catch the attention of the original fandom, just like you said. 
I uh, totally just missed that cause, uh, cause some chat on Discord. Did my girl just snap my other girl's neck? What? The fuck? Is she not leaving with her? What kind of shitty girlfriend is this? If this was me, I'd follow my girl to the ends of the earth and then some. Okay, let's talk about that for a moment, okay? So, Finch was going to go with Josie and then... What's his name? Werewolf guy. I can't think of his name right now. Right. Gets beat up or hurt. Breaks his arm? I think it was just his arm, right? Anyways, and then Finch is like... No, and then the pack is like, What? I don't understand. What? I don't understand. We need pack leader. We dumb. We stupid. We stupid without pack leader. And so... <laughs> and so Finch is like, I need to pick up the slack. Because, you know, werewolf dude broke his arm. So he can't, he can't be a leader right now. Because... Because these dum-dums over here can't tie their shoelaces without a fucking pack leader, right? And so, Finch is like, sorry, Josie, I need to stay. I need to be the pack leader while dog dude is, 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 is mending his wound, which, which is supernatural. So, it will literally heal in, like, two days. And even if it doesn't, even if it doesn't, which I think it doesn't, I, I think, I could be wrong, I think he only heals when he turns into a wolf, okay? There's so many ways for him to turn into a wolf. I'm sure there's a full moon, like, tomorrow anyways, because this is Legacies. There's a fucking full moon, and a fucking blue moon, and a fucking Aurora Borealis, and any kind of event happening when you need it. But anyways, they've got fucking wolf ring things. Anyways, they could turn into a wolf if they want to. Plus, I mean, I assume that they did some kind of thing to make it so that they could transform into a wolf at any time. Because I'm pretty sure that they had wolves when it wasn't even like a full moon. Like a couple episodes ago. You remember? Because I do. Um. Anyways, so he would... Literally just have to turn into a wolf and then heal himself. And then he's fine being the pack leader, so why did Finch stay back? Anybody want to answer that for me? Anyways, let's keep uh, reading. Um, also, I'm guessing Lizzie is going to be a vampire maybe? Because fuck the merge story, right? <laughs> Had it later. Vampire Lizzie. Nice. We'll see if that's any good. So let's part. Alright. So she's actually leaving. Well, I did kind of get the hint with the, la with the last episode when she realized that she had to live for herself. I didn't actually think they were going to go through with it though. Uh, yeah, true. We've been taught to believe characters keep coming back even when their actual actors go away. So we feel nothing since we believe that they'll return. This show, man. This show. Anyways, uh, we do have an episode to actually get into. <sighs> glad we got to talk about that for a little bit, actually. Cause I, look, I'll tell you what. I'm glad I get to read the comments of this. Because, you know, with the episode it happened, like, months ago at this point. I don't really remember what happened. So reading your comments rejugged my memory on what was going on and... You know, I've had time to think about it since then as well, and I had more thoughts and everything, so I'm glad that we get to do this together. Um, you guys can let me know how excited you are for this episode, because, um, like, before we hit play, before you've seen the episode, you might have seen the episode before watching this reaction anyways, tell me, how excited were you for this episode? And did it live up to your expectation? Behold, one of the seven great wonders of the ancient world. Does anyone know the name Yay! of this majestic site? Wesley's back! Sorry. This is instantly just the best episode ever. Although I will say, um, they are, dude, they've Come made now. Wesley very unflattering here. I've seen, sorry, 
I'm sorry. I've seen Alexis Denisov, uh, season four of Angel. I'm not gonna lie, he's kinda hot. Not gonna lie. This is very unflattering. This institution. As Virgil once wrote, nothing ventured, nothing gained. You're a new face, and judging by that unseasonable cap, plenty bold. Uh, the Great Pyramid of Giza, my man. Ha! Ah, at least someone's been paying attention. Lights, please. This architectural marvel was the tallest structure in the world for over 3,000 years. But for all we know about them, the pyramids remain a mystery to this day. How were they built? By whom? Aliens, bro. To think supernatural forces or alien life do not exist in some form or fashion is both short-sighted okay, so and deeply narcissistic. so he's teaching at a normal school, it seems. Does anyone here believe such things are possible? Or are you all taking this class simply to mock me? I believe. Yes. I am quite certain you do. This avatar school is in crisis. Our home is in disarray. So what happened when Lizzie woke up? Dishes, Whose blood did she take? Not all of our friends being gone. Which is the very issue we must address. As we remain here, we are the leaders of our respective factions. We must decide what to do about our troubling new guest. Or ben. That's his name. Ben does not pose a direct threat as of yet, but his mere presence could destabilize our school even more. He's afflicted by a condition I do not yet understand. With all due respect, all we need to understand is that he's a monster magnet. And as much as I love inclusion, we've got to take care of our own before we lose anybody else. Caleb had to go home, and he can't come back while Ben's here, so Ben's got to go. That's my vote. Duly noted. In counterpoint, I may be able to find an inspired solution for what made Caleb and Ethan attack Ben, if he remains here for me to study him. Also noted. But for the record, I do not consider Ethan a friend anymore. Good. Fuck him. So I guess that means it's up to you. Oh, hell no. I'm not qualified. You're I... the alpha. That is the only qualification necessary. So are you with her or with me? Both? Speaking as the guy who used to punch new kids in the face, I totally get distrusting outsiders. But I also think this place is way better for having Cleo here. And she wouldn't be if we kicked her out. I need to talk to Ben before I vote. Figure out if the risk is worth the reward. Smart. Coming for me. Smart. Ben? Look, you don't know me well enough to know how bad relying on my judgment is, so maybe you should wake up. <laughs> it's still here. <laughs> you porcupine! <laughs> See, that is how he's healed! Why did Finch do you say? Ben, what the hell was that? The story of my life. This is kind of reminding me of, um, what was his name? It was like a supernatural episode, right? Um, and we had like Zeus in it, and I don't know, the dude, hang on, I'll find, I'll find what I mean. Uh, actually I might be able to do it here. Uh, W. Supernatural, I think it was season seven. I recognize the thumbnail, okay, not season seven. This one, uh, season eight, episode 16, Remember the Titans. Sam and Dean come across a mysterious man that dies once every day. Yeah, that's what I remember. That, that's what That's what it seems to be reminding me of. Does that mean he ended up being like is? one of the not great exactly, gods or something? But uh. certain elements, this writing, for example, not visible to the naked eye, but scrawled in blood in multiple languages, speaking of the gods. But the gods of a dozen different cultures, maybe more. Look, I know you're supposed to be the expert. So we are going down the god. Gods don't exist. Nor do um, vampires. At least as far as most people are concerned. I dearly miss the Salvatore school. I only so this is literally the first time we've actually human met him. Palace him. Of like real him. The university funds my research. Which, speaking of, I should do a thermal sweep. Because before it was, um, clock. Someone's in there. Someone's inside. And miraculously, they're alive. Trust me, it'd be much more of a miracle if Lizzie Saltzman were dead. Oh. Um. What's happened to you? You're supposed to be so brilliant, you tell me.
If I'm right about the origins of the artifact you brought, the marble may be able to absorb its powers, as it was said two centuries ago in ancient Greece. Oh wait, we met him when he was stuffed in a locker or something. I found it. Huh. Hmm. Bull. Only until one looks inside. It's a trap. Not a bull. It's a trap. This is a chambre de chasse. I'm from New Orleans, you can skip the lecture. That's French for a stupid witch escape room. Which mm. means I'm going to escape, and when I do, I'm gonna kill you too. Then hopefully, Elizabeth and I will be gone before you can. Barrier spell Cleo put up should keep the monster out, which means we got plenty of time for that story of yours. Why bother? We're living it. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe because last night you said something about monsters were the least of our problems? Because they're nothing compared to gods. Sounds epic. Tell me more. Funny how all of a sudden everything it leads back to gods. Change anything. <laughs> well, I'll be the judge of that. Remember? My mother used to tell me a story many nights when I was a child. 5,000 years ago. Okay. Our people loved the gods. One in particular, in her case. And I was the proof of that love, which explains my invincibility in battle. I fought to keep our village safe, but I had no use for the gods. They never revealed themselves to me, nor did I ever ask anything of them. Asher. You have to wake up. We're finally home. Until the day that Asher, my best friend and lover, fell ill. And I realized that both of those things would need to happen were Ash to live. Why do I get the feeling like this story's about to ruin my day? Oh, that's sweet. We haven't even reached the ruinous part yet. Oh, boy. Fear not, Jed. For when we do, you will know exactly what to do with me. Hey, Professor. Are you OK? You look like you've seen a ghost. Who are you and what do you want? My name's Jen. I loved your lecture today. I wanted to talk more. Well, uh, if knowledge of the supernatural world is what you seek, then you must help me to open this. But I must warn you, Jennifer. It's just Jen. In doing so, you will take a step into a larger and far more frightening world. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, like, kind of trying to avoid that whole thing right now. So, is this the latch? <coughs> Gee. Holy crap. Curse my delicate hamstrings. Elizabeth, can you hear me? I thought she was on ah. Oh, okay. Dude. Oh, I'm so gross. You know, I'm just so did it without thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was embarrassing. Still getting the hang of my new powers, so bear with me. Speaking of, don't leave this room. I'm saving you for dessert. You just know how to do it. Oh my god. Thanks. I'll give you a closer look when I get back. Right uh, after I kill Hope Michael. Wesley! Lizzie! Wesley! Do you really just bring back Alexis Denisov just to kill? This doesn't look like it's going well. Not yet, but only so many keys. That's not what I meant. I escaped the artifact. Obviously. Mm. Completed my transition. See my fangs. Well, lucky for me, becoming a vampire has a heightened your stupidity because now you're stuck here too. What it's heightened is my urge to do what I should have done in the first place. Kill you. <laughs> I'm practically an expert on mental prisons by now, so I'll give you a hint. Getting out is always about getting to the root of your problems. And the truth is, you've always been my problem. Which means I get to leave whenever I want. Then why bother to come in here? I thought I owed you a goodbye. You can't kill me. Maybe not in here, but out there. In the real world. Where you're completely defenseless. That's another story. It's a big tree, Hope. I made more than one steak. Good. Including cute ones. You're lying. You're dying. And this time I won't lose my nerve. Vampire powers are so fun. <laughs> Not an option. This is your plan. I'm glad that she made more okay, than one fucking say. Jesus. 
beneath a false face. You'll be as blue in the face as I am. Who am I? Wait. I know the answer. Pray twice a day. Like the hands of a clock. I must be in the clock tower. Welcome back, Dad. I know what I would do. If someone I love was hurting, I'd march right up to the gods' palace or whatever and be like, dude, are you my dad or what? That's exactly what I did. The gods of our village lived atop a high mountain. I brought Ash to the threshold beyond which mortals could not pass. There, I cried out to my father for the first time. Not for his love, but his help. But he never came. And so I took matters into my own hands, as I had my whole life. But Ash was not a god, as I supposedly was. story was true. Holy crap. So what'd you do? I claimed my birthright. Stole it, actually. Can't imagine that one over well. It did not. Do you know what separates men from gods? Togas? Magic. Magic that I hoped would save Ash's life. But it was too late. <laughs> time I returned with the fire this world would come to Noah's magic, Ash was dead. I am so sorry. And I think I know what happens next. The gods cursed you, made monsters. Gods didn't you. create monsters. I did. Out of spite, I gave the magic I stole to the village. Figured that way people could help themselves instead of worshiping these fickle, uncaring sky bullies. I was foolish to think that too. Why? What do they do with it? The humans always do. They sought the same power and privilege the gods abused. They didn't want to stop worshiping the gods. They wanted to be them. And in their lust for that power, monsters were born, along with many of the world's ills. I'm cursed to this day because I trusted them. Perhaps I deserve it. Like hell. I mean, we know the. Um, Look, I can't uncurse you or whatever. Of vampires and but werewolves. I can give you a place to stay but while we figure out how to. Monsters too, aren't they? So a what? new home. You got my vote is what I'm saying. I'm grateful, but I can't accept. Well, you can't leave either. Barrier spell, remember? The blood of a god flows through my veins. Magic cannot hold me. Farewell, Jed. Oh god, he is so dead. No crap, dude, you killed him. You brought him back to oh. kill him. Oh. Most vampires make that seem a lot less painful. Can I just get some space? I don't want to get a contact high. Well, then he wasn't dead if that brought him back. Dude. I am just as surprised as you are, Jennifer. Thank you. But I assume there's a reason you saved my life. I need your help. Because as much as I want to kill Hope Michelson, I can't. <clears throat> See what I mean? I literally can't kill her. Try this. Uh, son of a bitch! Yeah. What is wrong with me? I have a theory, but as that with it's a all demon? theories, that it's a demon. It must be tested. Okay, why did I do that? It's bad enough that I can't kill her. Now I'm. Did you turn with her, her blood? Are you sorry? I to think her? it's time you told me exactly how you became a vampire. It doesn't matter. She won't be one for much longer. She sighed to her. Where's Ben? She... Oh, Ben, yeah, he just uh, waltzed through that barrier because he's a freaking demigod. Well, that is not all that makes him special. His blood was found in one of the creature's quills. Oh, that's weird. I have wolf ears and I can't hear anything. Monsters can. That's how they track him. If I can spell a solution to mute this frequency, maybe I can free Ben from his curse. You know these are made out of wood? Ben's lucky he's not a vampire. But MG is. And I've just sent him to find the monster. I'm surprised you escaped. You usually suck at games, because they're fun. Turns out you showing up was the hint I needed. You made yourself my problem, Lizzie. All I needed to do was find your key. She won't be a problem any longer. I know. Lotus. Because now that she's a vampire, 
I know exactly how to kill her. Technically, I'm a heretic. The vibrid to your tribrid. Incendia. Do you have a pencil I could borrow? Hope. Elizabeth can do you no harm. In fact, I'd be willing to wager she'll do anything you say. <laughs> like how? I'll Why would you tell part. her that? Stop talking. Whose blood was in your system when you died? Answer him. Beats me. Whatever vampire donated their blood to the school's first aid kits. What is happening? It was my blood. Which I'm guessing means your sire to me. <sighs> Just when I thought this day couldn't get any worse. Where'd the artifact go? The thing is, that's not really how the sire bond works, though. That's not how we've established how it works. I'm pretty sure that, like... I'm pretty sure that that's not how Tyler, like... No. <laughs> That's not really how it works. That's not the only thing missing. The stoner chick's <laughs> gone even though I compelled her to stay. Really? It sounds like you suck at compulsion. It's my first one, okay? Now will you please let me stop hopping around on one leg like a drunken bunny? Being mind controlled is a major violation of my agency. Fine. Though you did just try to compel someone and I make the rules. Remember? Right. Mm. Son of a Please, I am as shocked as you both that your dynamic could become even stranger. But we cannot let an immensely powerful artifact that may have ties to the gods loose into the world. How the hell did she get that out of here? Okay, I'll find it. But I'm only doing this because I don't want her stuffing me in it. You know the feeling? Sucks. Sweet. Now I can roll this popsicle stand before she gets back. I've heard becoming a vampire heightens your emotions. I assume it's true for heretics? Beats me. Mine have always been a little heightened. Because you're a good person, Elizabeth. So please, before you leave, consider this. Hope is in a very dark place, and she's going after an innocent student. Oh. Need a hand? Oh, damn it! I was there. gonna make that. Yeah, fuck you! I was gonna Most make that really joke. Story I don't like life. you. I think Stormer I figured out what his deal is. You are a concern, MG. He must get back to the school at once. The monster squirrels are made of. This thing can't kill me, but it can sure as hell kill you. Go! Not our style of leadership, right? Speaking of style. <laughs> I mean, that looks dope, but what's it gonna do? It'll protect Ben, so long as he wears it, if I'm right. Did she just put that on him twice? You're just full of surprises, aren't you? You mind telling me why you're stealing that thing? Or better yet, why my locator spell didn't work on you? I need to follow your scent. I had so long story, man. Well, I'm immortal, so. Immortality is a bitch, huh? I mean, not really but I am. So start answering my questions, or I'm gonna rip your arms off and beat you to death with them. Well, I'm a pacifist, so I don't really wanna hurt you. Don't worry, you won't. Sorry, tiny angry dude, but you don't wanna know the things that you think you do. So she's possible. Oh, Ow. Second of all, now I really need to know. Then for what it's worth. I really wish you didn't. Hey, bitch. Okay. Whatever you two are, I want no part of it. Not an option, apparently. Well, it's time to get high. Okay, bye, Supergirl. Well, you don't see that every day. What the hell is she? If I had to guess, a god. All of a sudden, they're all just coming out of the woodworks. This is probably gonna hurt. Always does. That's the point. Yeah, because you're Prometheus. People don't think I'm smart, but the grades I get are for lack of trying. That is who I was talking about in the Supernatural episode, I believe. I'm just gonna double check that I'm right about that. I didn't come up with the name, but I was like, it did rem like it did remind me of that. So it's season eight, episode. Remember the Titans. I remember this. Um, Zeus, Artemis, Shane, Prometheus. Yeah. 
You're the bastard son of a god. I mean, you stole fire. Magic. Whatever. From the gods and gave it to the people. That sucks it didn't work out, but... Oh. That's a baller move. So the gods punished you, by chaining you to a rock so eagles could eat your liver. And cursed you to heal by sunrise so you could feel that same pain again the next day. Forever. That's what I was reminding me of. I'm, so there I, was I wonder. rock and chains, but no eagles, just monsters. That is my story and my curse. And I haven't worked that out. There's two, apparently. The myths that persist today are a gross oversimplification. The names are all wrong, for example, because you can never pronounce my real one. But I've come to prefer Ben. Simple, like Jed. And I like simple. Well then, buddy, I'm your guy. I'm glad they've given Jed something to do yeah. Hell you can't. Look, once a month I wake up in chains too, covered in what I pray is my own drool. Being cursed is pretty much a requirement for being at the Salvatore School. Give it a shot. I suppose remaining here beats passing through the small intestine of a gorgon again. Okay, so, new riddle. What the hell is this place? Well, like you said, the Sphinx has never lied to us, so... Someone in here must know that we had a limbo. Yeah. And if not, please freaking get a drink. Three... My guess is Asho will be here or something. We're new to this establishment, so that'll be three coins. What's the matter, gents? Never seen a Jenny before. <clears throat> Blue in the face. Bingo. One second thought, hold those if drinks. Because we're gonna Sphinx need three knows a way stuff. out, why would Then you've come to the right place. And if you knew a way out of here, why would you not why would everyone not be lining up? Alrighty, well that was Legacies season four, episode ten. Uh decent episode. Everything seems to be leading to gods all of a sudden. Um I don't know, I feel like too many things are like all of a sudden conveniently happening to do with gods that like, I don't know, just seems a little uh, bizarre. Um, I will say I really liked what they did with Jed this episode. They actually gave him something to do and they gave him a point to be smart because he's always just dumb. So I'm glad there's that. Um, no finish this episode. Okay. <laughs> um... And, yeah, we had Wesley back again. That was cool. Um, and Lizzie being a heretic was kind of cool. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.